Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have three more movie reviews for you guys. The first one is called The King of Staten Island. And this was released on June 12th, 2020. It is a dramedy film that has a 7.1 out of 10 on IMDb, a 74% on Rotten Tomatoes, and a 75% on Google. Now the movie had a $35 million budget it made $42.2 million at the box office. And during this uh, pandemic, that's not too bad. Uh, the movie was directed and co-written by Judd Apatow, also co-written by and starring Pete Davidson, and then co-written by Dave Cyrus. And the movie also stars Marissa Tomei, <sighs> love her so much, Bill Burr, and Steve Buscemi. This movie is about a 24-year-old man, Scott Carlin, played by Pete Davidson, who doesn't know what he wants to do with his life. He uh, is a stoner. He lives at home uh, and just takes uh, takes life for what it is. He uh, is sort of sunk into a little bit of a depression over the loss of his father, which come to find out... Um, this movie is dedicated to uh, Pete's dad, uh, who, if you didn't know, this is a spoiler alert, so if you don't want to hear it, uh, mute this, and I'll give the camera a thumbs up when I'm done talking about it. Be warned. But this movie is dedicated to his father, uh, Scott Davidson, who died on 9-11. Uh, he was a firefighter there uh, in... Uh, in uh, New York, and uh, yeah, he was only 33 years old, and um, Pete's had a hard time uh, dealing with that loss, and he said in an interview that this movie has really helped him out uh, to deal with the loss of his father. Uh, still to this day, and for those of you who don't know who don't watch Saturday Night Live, he still struggles and uh, sometimes has to um, leave and not perform because of it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's really hard for him. But this movie was was freaking awesome. It was one of my most anticipated movies to watch of 2020. I love Pete Davidson. He's freaking hilarious on Saturday Night Live. Um it really takes a lot for him to break his character, but when he does, he has a hard time uh, coming back there sometimes. But for the most part, he's very professional and does a great job. Uh, but this movie is fantastic. Um, I have no issues with this movie whatsoever. I love the performances. I love the characters, the writing, directing. Everything about this movie is solid. And... Uh, Marissa Tomei plays his mom. Uh, Bill Burr uh, eventually plays his stepfather. And then uh, Steve Buscemi, who's also a firefighter in this movie, plays Papa. And, uh, yeah, it's this is a great, heartwarming movie. And uh, I definitely recommend you check it out. Uh, so with that, I'm going to give The King of Staten Island a 10 out of 10. And two thumbs up. Yeah, this is a blast. In the comment section below, if you've seen the movie, give me your thoughts and opinions. Uh, did you like it, love it, hate it, think it was okay? Let me know. And let's have a great discussion about this movie. Uh, other than that, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And if you like this review, hit that like button. But thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for two more movie reviews including my review of the film Pitch Perfect. Uh, so stay tuned for that, along with a older film called Presumed Innocent, starring Harrison Ford. But thanks again for watching, and check you later.